Hey guys, it's Shani and I'm back today with another plan with me and for this week's spread I'm using this kit from Paper Trail Plans. Uh, this is a new to me shop so this is the first time I've ever used one of their kits but I really loved it especially this bottom washi which I thought was so unique. I haven't really seen that done in the past where it's like cut out and I was so excited to kind of play around with it. I've seen some other really pretty um, like variations of how people use this. Like I think I saw Lauren put these florals like up at the top of her spread um, and I thought that was really pretty. So if I do end up getting um, like more kits with this style of washi from them, which I plan to, <laughs> um, I definitely wanna try that out. Um, I hadn't seen that post like prior to filming this, so I didn't really think to do that, but, um, I don't know. I love, I love both of them either way. I did place two or when I placed an order from the shop, I did buy two kits, but I thought I would only get one kit with this kind of, um, like bottom washi option just to see if I liked it. And I did really like it. So, um, whenever I do buy more kits from them, um, I'll definitely be going with this option because I thought it was really cute and unique. And I love, I don't know, just playing with like different elements in my spreads. But anyways, what I did do was I actually used all three strips of washi. There was more of like a simple one with just like a line going through it. There was a really skinny like confetti strip. And then obviously like the um, cut out washi with like the florals just coming out. Um, super cute. And then the date covers were also cool because they were like cut out as well rather than into just a, you know, regular rectangle. It was just like cut out into the watercolor strip. So I thought that was interesting as well. The date dots that I used were the ones that are from my shop. And then I also did pick up two of the deco sheets for this kit, which I totally expected them to be smaller and I didn't even touch the second deco sheet, but I will hold on to it for... Um, if I do have like another kit that needs florals and kind of matches these because sometimes I still have some kits that are in older formats that don't have any florals with them um, and I like pulling in florals <laughs> wherever I can. Um, but yeah, I, I loved the florals in this. I loved the deco sheet. It had so much for me to like play around with and cut around and I didn't really feel like limited by, you know, oh, I've already used up like half the deco sheet you know, I should probably try to save some for like the second half. Didn't feel that at all, which I really liked. So this was just a lot of fun. I cut out a bunch of florals to put uh, like with the date covers just to kind of add some more, you know, since there were like a lot of florals at the bottom, definitely wanted to pull that into the top, even though I do that even if there's no florals at the bottom, but um, I like how that turned out. I also used the patterned washi strips that were from the kit underneath the um, date covers at like the top of each day. And then I moved on to my sidebar. I left the January script as is, and then I used the quote box there that says warm wishes, winter kisses, super cute, super foiled. Um, this kit was just really, really pretty. It was so fun to play around with. And then I used a scalloped kind of header, uh, I believe from the kit as well underneath it with one of these square boxes and some deco, this really cute, like, what are they called? Egg chairs? Is that what it's called? I don't know. I just cut that kind of to make it look like it's coming out of the sidebar, added some florals on the side. And that was to mark that I was in my second week of school. This is a spread from January 17th to the 23rd. Yep. <laughs> so quite a while ago, over a month ago, but nonetheless, here is the spread. <laughs> I used another um, like scalloped header there with a habit tracker. The study script is from my shop and I added a bit of deco there as well. And then I used this checklist with, I don't even know what these are. Are they like little moons or I'm not really sure. Or maybe they're just like unfinished circles. I'm not sure, but they are cute. Uh, so I used that to kind of track some things that I wanted to get done throughout the week. And I also added some of the um, string lights, the snowflake string lights um, that are from my shop. And then I'm going ahead and placing down some of my full boxes before I get started. So for the full boxes this week, I used the like header with the simple line going through it, a full box. And then underneath it, I also did use some of these um, like 
skinny dividers, I guess, skinny headers. So uh, on to Monday, we had a really crazy snowstorm. I actually was driving in it the night before. Yeah, so um, I was driving in it the night before, but overnight it was like pretty intense. And this was supposed to be my first day of clinical, but that ended up getting canceled. But I still had to be up super early to see if it was like happening or not. They sent us an email being like, well, we'll kind of keep an eye out. So make sure to check your email in the morning to see if school is canceled. Um, and it was. So I just ended up going back to sleep. But to mark the really crazy snowstorm, I thought this was super cute. I used one of these like oval boxes with some more of the snowflake string lights from my shop. And then I used the uh, like snowy tree deco with a let it snow snow globe from the winter sheet um, from my shop. And then, like I said, my clinical was canceled. So I just used an arrow with a bit of floral deco behind it to mark that. Um, and then, so I kind of ended up having the day off and I would, I'd planned to be at clinical all day this day. So didn't really have like too much that I had to get done, but um, I ended up doing a bunch of cleaning and vacuuming since I didn't really want to leave the house since I was, I really didn't want to drive anywhere. It was like actually insane. My mom had to go to work and she literally couldn't get out of our street. Um, like my car, we only have one car that's like all wheel drive and it was like hidden by the other car, if that makes sense. Like the other car, like my car was blocking my mom's car. So there was just no way of her to get out. So my uncle <laughs> came to like pick her up and he literally couldn't even turn onto our street. It was hilarious. So my mom had to like truck through on foot through the snow and it was like basically to her thighs. There's like a really funny video um, of my mom like walking to my uncle's car on our street. I live on like a little cul-de-sac and it's always the last street to like get cleaned. I swear in like the entire city. I mean probably not but like that's what it always feels like. Um, but yeah it was it was kind of just like a fun snow day. Um, so to mark the cleaning and all the vacuuming, I used a vacuum sticker from White Deer Stationery and I used a CD stickers bow coming out of the side. I also did mark that I was doing some shoveling of snow with my dad. <laughs> it was fun. He like started it and then I kind of like came out to help for a while since I wanted to get out of the house, but definitely couldn't really drive anywhere or really walk anywhere. The furthest I could go was really my driveway. It was, it was pretty intense here. <laughs> To mark the snow shoveling, I used these mittens that are from that same uh, like winter sheet from my shop. And then the deco and the half box are from the kit. I actually did order some snow shoveling stickers from White Deer Stationery, but that was after I filmed this. So, and those haven't come in yet. So, couldn't have used them anyway. And then Tuesday, I marked that I had class online. I used a flag from the kit, a laptop from White Deer Stationery, and a class script from my shop. Actually, those are not in my shop. Those are just ones that I made for myself, but it's in the same font as the scripts that I do have in my shop. Let me know if you guys want the class scripts. I don't know how many of you guys are students, but um, I like to have my scripts match whenever I can, so I just made those for myself. I ended up working on orders um, after class this day, so I used one of these boxes from the kit, and then the printer sticker is from um, White Deer Stationery, and then the foiled bow that I used is from my shop as well. I really liked all the different like shapes of boxes that were available like in the kit. Um, I thought it was really fun to like play around with them, so I enjoyed that. And then I marked that I had a plan with Mingo up this day. That like stack of planners is from Crafts by Towie. I think it was from either a freebie that I had from her or um, it might have been like the stickers that come on her like foiled add-on sheet where she has some of her icons there as well because I know I don't have a full sheet of those even though they are super cute. Um, but yeah, I think it was actually from that add-on sheet. And then I marked that I was FaceTiming one of my friends in the evening. So I used one of these quarter boxes that are like skinnier than the width of the planner, which I always think is cute. And the cell phone stickers are also from Crafts by Towie. And then that little bow squiggle like divider that is from Paper Blush Bar. And I kind of just wanted something skinny that would take up a little bit of space. And so that was kind of like the perfect size. 
and then marking class again on Wednesday, kind of the same idea as I did um, Tuesday, except that I decided to use a like foiled bow on this laptop rather than more uh, like florals since there was like florals that I was putting underneath the laptop there were florals on the flag so I thought I would kind of change it up and leave that a little bit more bare with like some foil and then of course the same class script um, since I do kind of like to keep things like that consistent wherever I can then what am I cutting off oh I think I noticed that I maybe didn't cut off some of the deco at the top so trimming that which wasn't even in frame but <laughs> so be it um, underneath it, I'm marking that I did some studying for one of my classes that's related to my clinical. Our courses that like go hand in hand with clinical are always our like most challenging and like densest courses. And this semester, um, it's in like acute care, which is what my clinical is um, in. It's like I, my clinical is on a trauma unit at like a really like great hospital in Toronto. It's like one of the main like trauma centers in the city. So get to see and do some pretty crazy stuff and I'm like super grateful for the opportunity because again like it's just such a great learning opportunity and I'm just happy to be there especially after having clinical online for two years so I feel like I'm kind of getting to catch up with one having like clinical for school on a trauma unit and then my job <clears throat> which is in the emergency room at a different hospital so I'm very grateful. Hope you guys didn't hear that. Something just fell downstairs. <laughs> um, anyways, I marked that with another box from the kit and then some more like tree deco. I tried to pull those in like throughout the spread because I thought they were super cute and I liked it. I also used like some foiled bits um, under like where I marked class. There was like the little corner like bunting thing and then some like confetti and both of those are from Honey Inked. I marked that I grabbed some coffee or Starbucks with my friend Sarah this day. I used a third box from the kit and then I also used um, a coffee sticker that has like some really cute snowflakes on it and that is also from the winter sheet from my shop. And then the last thing that I marked this day was that I was de-stashing a bunch of stickers again um, and so I used like a sticker of stickers from white deer stationery um, to mark that and then I decided that I wanted to add some of these like snowflake dividers uh, in the date covers section so I did do that and I think it ended up looking really cute just adds like some more you know foil to the to the top especially to like break up all the florals that are up there um, I like that and especially with silver foil that I think ends up making a spread look super clean um, I'm glad that I did end up going back in and like adding those I think I trimmed some of them a little bit because the day covers didn't go the full width of like the day like the 1.5 inches so I decided to like trim some of them and then added like some of the pieces to other ones that I thought needed a little bit more where maybe I trimmed too much or whatever it was and then I felt like I needed something else here, so I added some of the, whoa, some of these um, like floral bouquets, and I believe that's from Dash of Sun Designs. And then going back in, adding a little bit more like deco throughout, that is from The Giving Girl, just in like the spaces that I thought were a little bit bare. And then this is from uh, Honey Inked again, the same one that I used on Wednesday there. Now moving on to Thursday, this was one of my best friend's birthdays and so I wanted to mark it. Um, I feel like her <laughs> birthday always ends up being in like January and it's always like hard to celebrate. We did end up, we did end up celebrating over the weekend but um, I think this was also, I can't remember, I think things were all closed. There weren't restrictions on like people you can see I don't think but there were restrictions in like restaurants so couldn't really go anywhere, but um, yeah, I did mark that it was her birthday with another one of the mini quarter boxes, a cupcake from White Deer Stationery, and some more florals, of course. And then I marked that this was my last class of the week. I have three days of, why can't I talk? Three days of class, um, a day of clinical and a day of work. That's like my Monday to Friday usually. Not in that order, but... <laughs> nonetheless marked it kind of the same way with some florals in the laptop I love doing that with like laptops or tvs I think it's super cute 
Um, and then I'm just adding my full box under here. Again, I've mentioned before, but I've been enjoying not placing down all my full boxes right away, mostly just like the ones um, at the top and the bottom of the spread and then the centered ones I like putting in as I do the day just because I can kind of like gauge where I want to place it better. So I like that. Did the same trick or, or not trick, same idea with like the headers and the dividers. I also decided to place some florals under this one. Um, I don't know, just to change it up. I think it's super cute. I kind of wish I did it on the other side of the spread as well, just to balance that out. But I think there's so many florals throughout the spread that it really like doesn't stick out at all. So not a huge deal. Anyways, this day I ended up running a bunch of errands after class. So I went to go drop off the orders that I'd worked on on Tuesday. Um, I used a mailbox sticker from White Deer Stationery and um, some of these like, I don't know, confetti, I don't know, little stars, twinkles. <laughs> Those are from The Giving Girl. And then in that like same plaza kind of, there's a bunch of things that I needed to go to. Um, I had to go to the liquor store because it was my friend's birthday. So had to buy some alcohol. Um, and then I also went to Winners. I wanted to return something and Superstore, which is a grocery store. And since all those things were kind of like together, I ended up just using a uh, checklist from the kit to mark that. Um, and I always love adding florals to checklists. I think it's super cute. Added again, some more confetti from the Giving Girl. And then the last thing that I did this day was some filming and some editing. So I used a quarter box with a camera icon from Crafts by Towie to mark that. Then Friday, putting down my full box, first thing. Fridays I always find hard, actually any day that I, I work, which is typically Friday, um, I always find hard to like find enough things to write down. Anytime that I work or I'm at clinical, since it is 12 hours, there's only so much that I can mark. So I always mark that I like always grab coffee. And then during my breaks, I tend to read. So I kind of just mark whatever it was that I was reading. Um, and then if I end up doing anything after work or after clinical, which <laughs> like, especially with work, when I get home at like 8 p.m., um, sometimes I'll end up like doing something social, but a lot of the time I'm like a little too tired. <laughs> so I kind of struggle with what to mark. So I'm always like, Oh, I hope a package comes in. That would be, that would be very ideal to mark on a Friday or a day that I have clinical like Monday, which is kind of hilarious, but you know, it is what it is. That's what happens. Do you guys ever have that too? I mean, I don't know. I don't think working 12 hours is like typical for any job other than like healthcare, especially like nursing or medicine, but Nonetheless, let me know what you guys, what you guys do, especially if you guys are nurses, what do you guys mark on days that you're working? Or do you just mark that you're working like in a way bigger form than like other things? I don't know. I'm just curious. I know I do follow some, um, like nurses that are planner girls. So maybe I should kind of take a look at what they mark. Anyways, I'm playing around with marking work here. I used one of these stickers. I don't even know what shape that would be, but one of these uniquely shaped stickers, I cut out like a huge floral from the kit to put at the side of that. The work script is from my shop and then the stethoscope is from Crafts by Towie. I really wanted to make those Dash of Sun design like floral foiled bouquets work, but it just wasn't really working with the icon. So I ended up removing it and adding it to like another sticker on Sunday. Um, and then I marked grabbing coffee. Um, like I always do since I always want coffee at work. Sometimes I go more than once. I try to only go to like Tim's <laughs> once at work, but there are definitely days where I'm like, I need coffee on both of my breaks. Um, but anyways, I marked it with a quarter box and then the coffee sticker is actually from the Christmas sheet from my shop. It has like a cute little candy cane, but, um, wanted to pull that in. I marked that I was, uh, that I finished the book that I was reading. I was reading The One and I really enjoyed it so much so that as soon as I got home, I actually ended up watching the show. So, um, I first saw that there was a show, I saw it on TikTok and then I somehow stumbled upon the book and I recognized the name and I had taken a screenshot of like the TikTok cause I was like, Ooh, this show sounds really interesting. So I decided I'd read the book first and then watch the show. Um, which I love doing that. And what I really liked is that, you know, the show and the book had like 
the general idea was very similar, but the storyline itself was like very different, I would say. And so it made it enjoyable and I wasn't like, oh, they took this out or oh, they did this. So I really enjoyed it. Would definitely recommend. I think it was like super cool. Um, If you guys are curious, it's basically like this scientist's this scientist finds this gene and each person like has, you know, this specific gene and only one other person um, has it as well. And that's kind of supposed to be like your soulmate. And obviously that sounds like super cheesy, but I think it was like really well done, you know, in some cases like, oh, maybe your soulmate is already married to someone else, or maybe your soulmate has passed away or, you know, whatever. I won't give too much away, but it was, I thought it was really well done. So to mark finishing the book, I used this Kindle sticker from White Deer Stationery. And to mark the show, I used a TV console sticker from Crafts by Towie. And I also used another one of the paper blush bar, um, little like squiggle dividers uh, between the two. And then Saturday, I started marking things from the bottom of the day because I kind of wanted to see Uh, what would fit. So I marked that this was the night that we were celebrating my friend's birthday. Uh, We just went to her boyfriend's place since um, she lives, she actually lives out of the city. She um, started school in, you know, a city that's like a few hours away. So she lives there, but obviously she comes back pretty often to see all of us and her boyfriend. So we ended up celebrating there and it was really fun. I marked it with one of these like notched square boxes from the kit And then some balloons from White Deer Stationery and then some snowflake dangles from my shop that I've been kind of sprinkling throughout the spread. And then at the top of the day, I marked that I finished the show. So clearly I liked it because I started it the night before after work. Like I said, I don't get home until 8 p.m. And then before I even went to my friend's birthday, I had finished the show. I think there were eight episodes, but still that means that I stayed up pretty late and pretty much just had it playing in the background as I did whatever um, this entire day. (laughs) To mark uh, finishing the show, I used a sticker from White Deer Stationery. The bow that I used on top of it is from Sadie Stickers and then that little like, I never know what, what are these called guys? Somebody please tell me what these are called. Like the thing that I used in the corner at the top of the day, is it a banner? I don't really know, but those are from Honey Inked. I marked that I started reading The Love Hypothesis, which I have since finished and also really liked. Um, And I used a little like book sticker with some pillows to mark that. I also wanted to paint my nails before going to the birthday, so I used another White Deer Stationery icon, um, the nail polish one, of course, and I used some little confetti stickers from the Giving Girl sheet that I've been pulling in from. And then, let's see, Sunday started at the bottom of the day as well, but I'll kind of just start explaining it from the top since I'll get there in a minute. Um, I was binge watching Too Hot to Handle, clearly doing a lot of Netflix binge watching, but I think it'd come out a few days before, maybe on the Friday, and I freaking love Too Hot to Handle. It's just, I love reality dating shows. They are just my weakness. Currently loving Love is Blind. Um, Let me know what you guys think of all the couples. I watched all the episodes, um, well, the first 10, and I'm very excited for the reunion next week. (laughs) Um, so yeah, but love is blind, too hot to handle, love trashy reality dating shows on Netflix. So binge watch that. I used a Netflix sticker from White Deer Stationery with a CD stickers bow. Kind of wanted to take up some more room with that. So I added like a big floral piece behind it as well. And then I was going for dinner with my friend this day and basically I, oh, this was so annoying. So um, the, the road that like the restaurant was on was closed and, I so I basically had to like reroute and my GPS was like telling me to turn onto the street. The street was a one way and I'm driving, I'm driving. And then suddenly I see a car coming towards me and I was like, oh my God, am I going the wrong way? Are they going the wrong way? What is happening? Um, basically they were going the wrong way. And then, so we had to like find a way to kind of get around one another, but, Um, because there was like so much snow everywhere, 
it was very hard and long story short the person ended up hitting my car a bit thankfully nothing happened like I couldn't see any dents or anything but I was like super stressed this like this whole this whole moment and it was it was annoying and then finding parking took another like 20 minutes so I was supposed to get to dinner like half an hour early but I ended up getting there like half an hour late um but yeah and then I also couldn't find the restaurant so I was like telling my friend I'm like come out like I literally cannot find this place it was freezing cold I was like walking around this one block and just like could not find it and then it was hilarious because we ended up not even staying there because their heated patio like wasn't warm at all. This is when outdoor dining was the only option. Um, so we ended up going somewhere else that was warmer and I was like, oh my God, what a stressful situation for nothing. But all that to say, my car got hit and I marked it with a white deer stationary car icon. I marked dinner with a uh, meal icon from Cross by Tally. And then I called my friend on the way home to like vent about this stupid, stressful driving situation. Um, and I used a phone sticker from uh, White Deer Stationery. So yeah, I hope you guys like this plan with me. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.